and good morning welcome to another simply diagnostics video this will be going out on youtube and facebook we're live in sunny cheshire from the simplydiag.net community hub join us for free at www.simplydiag.net so what we've got in the workshop today we've got a really interesting um, case study this is a 2016 model year Vauxhall Astra K petrol and it's logging P16E5 fuel rail pressure sensor fault okay so on f at first glance let's just get a light on let's turn it on the, the old pickler tools cob lights really really good let's get a bit of light on the job so at first glance it looks like a normal three wire sensor so we'd expect a, um, a 5 volt reference a ground and then a, a voltage signal coming out of it and that what that does that tells us what what pressure is in that fuel rail but this one's got a little bit of a sting in the tail so i had a look at it just using the normal multimeter i've got a 5 volt i've got a bias voltage on my signal wire and i've got a good ground so i think okay no problem I'll use the hubby tool sensor simulator, put half a volt down it, let's see if the rail pressure changes in live data. It didn't. And then we got a clue. It actually gave, when I put that simulated voltage down the signal line, I then got a code not only for rail pressure, but uh, fuel temperature as well. I'm thinking, that's a bit strange, what's going on here? So, we went over to the wiring diagram, we got the wiring diagram, from our awesome community partners at All Data. We're looking at the fuel rail pressure sensor here. We can see we've got a five volt reference coming in on pin three. We've got our ground coming out from this pin here. And then on our other, on our blue white, that's our signal line. So I'm thinking to myself, right, okay. There's no correlation there with fuel temperature or anything like that. So what I did then, again, using the manufacturer's information, I typed in fuel rail pressure. This came up in the search and it said look for P16E5. Is there ignition on, no DDC. This is the exact rail pressure that we were shown in live data. Okay, six and a half thousand bar. That's rather a lot of pressure for a, for a high pressure petrol. Okay, so it's a default value that the, that the engine computer broadcasts when it's, there's a fault on that sensor. Now, after I put that simulated voltage down the wire. I got fault. Uh, I then got an additional fault code for fuel temperature. So, when we read into it, the circuit sim system and description, it says the fuel pressure temperature sensor. So there's a clue. We didn't know it was a temp sensor as well. Transmits fuel pressure and temperature information by serial data using a sense signal. So sense stands for single edge nibble transmission. So it's a data packet. So one sensor, it says here, it tells us that it's got a microprocessor in the sensor and it can send multiple branches of data via that one sensor up to four different information signals from one sensor. Hence why I get the temperature fault code now when I put a voltage down it. So we're looking at it, it tells me 5 volt reference, low reference, etc. And then it says the ECM decodes the serial data into separate voltages. Okay, so it's a sense sensor. It's transmitting a data signal. So what, what's happened with this car? It's been in for repair and at some point during the repair, um, the fuel pressure sensor has been damaged or something like that. So they've replaced it with, a, with an aftermarket part. The aftermarket part on this vehicle is sending out one information. It's sending, and it's sending, not sending data packets out. So it's an old conventional type. The new sensor available from Vauxhall is on back order. The part number is 12672582. I'm reading off my whiteboard and it's £167 plus VAT. So cheaper half the price. So going back to this, where can I find out more information about scent and how it works? I started up my Pico scope. So this is the Pico 7 automotive software. It's, it's already sent up, it's already set up for me. And then if I go into guided functions, I actually get example waveforms. It sets my scope up for me and it gives me all the information I need about scent and how it works and all that. And that's a free resource 
on the Pico 7 software. You can download that, use it in demo mode if you haven't got a Pixcope, but a really, really good guide to how stuff works and how circuits work and how different information protocols are, are sent over. So, top tip for today is don't assume, and always, when we go on the top right hand side of the Simply Dive board, we've all seen it, how, how, what am I testing? So system description operation, and what am I expecting to see? Because I didn't see what I was expecting to see, it then made me look right, okay, I need to read more in that. So, awesome shout out for all data and the genuine manufacturer's information. Awesome shout out for Picascope for the other information on scent sensors. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.